feels like a prison. It's empty, but someone's calling my name. And it's sometime in the future, 10, 20 years maybe. I don't know which way to go, but I keep hearing someone calling me. So I go down a corridor, and there he is. You're ovulating, we don't have all day. And I don't want to go inside. I think to myself, I can't do it again. I can't go in there one more time. I've had that nightmare almost every night since we signed the contract. I know we did the right thing, it's just... You know what, what if it doesn't take right away? What if I have to go in over and over and over and never get pregnant? And it all comes down to that appointment. This could be the beginning of everything for us. Or not. Well, you're, you're gonna be fertile. You're fertile, there's no reason why you wouldn't be fertile. <sighs> You're gonna be late to the hospital. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm such a case. Good news. That was our doctor. Tomorrow's the big day. Check on Trevor. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to ask you for a favor. Well, if it's for a third kid or a twin? <laughs> no, nothing like that. I was thinking of doing a... A complete home makeover. You know, I want to make this place into a, a, a place where people come to have fun, you know, feel happy and, you know, welcome. And you're still going to live here? <laughs> yes, I am. I just, I want to make this into a home for our children. A real home. You know, with cookies in the oven and warmth, nurturing. A place for happiness. I've heard prints are cozy. What I'm trying to say, Amanda, is I can't do this without you. I, I don't have a clue as to how to decorate. I don't know what I'm doing. So what do you say? Hmm? I mean, help me remake this place from top to bottom. Whatever you want, okay? Whatever you need to make it into a home. And money is absolutely no object. A total remodel. Yeah. That's going to take forever. I'm only going to be here for nine months. I'm going to be long gone. Yeah, but what if it takes a few tries or even no. more? No, okay, no. This has to work the first time, so don't talk about this being stuck here for months and months. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you, but I, I would think that you would want to have some input. This is your home too. No, this is not my home. This will never be my home. My home is with Jake. Pregnant, having a healthy pregnancy and delivering a perfect baby, okay, then right. I'm out of here. You know, well, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but if it takes a few tries, you're not going to be leaving here for quite a while. I plan on being pregnant the minute that we leave okay, the doctor's that's, office. That's what I want too, okay? But I'm just offering you something to focus on while we're waiting for the baby to arrive. Here's an idea. Why don't I focus on redecorating my home with Jake? Okay, you know, I know this is going to come as a big shock to you, but not everything I say or do has a devious motive. I have to get back to the hospital. I spoke with Amanda to confirm our appointment tomorrow. How's she doing? Well, she's, uh, <laughs> she's a bit nervous. <laughs> she's suddenly worried that she's not going to get pregnant the first time around. I'm assuming you discussed that with her? I told her it's a very real possibility that the procedure won't be effective the first time. Or the second. Mm -hmm. I make sure my patients are fully cognizant of the facts, good and bad so they can make informed choices. Right. I believe in full disclosure. Oh, that's great. No, I'm, I'm all for that. I think it's wonderful that you made Amanda aware of the possibilities. I think that we need to make sure that we know what we're getting ourselves into, especially if things don't turn out as we had hoped. You are going to make the appointment tomorrow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Trust me, my number one priority is to get Amanda pregnant. You do realize that was a private conversation, don't you? About my wife. Mm. About the deal we made. Ah, the deal. Yes. You know what, Davy boy, since it's just you and me, why don't we just spill our guts right now? The deal. Nice touch making Amanda your surrogate, by the way. But the, the cold, hard facts here are this deal was structured for one reason and one reason only, right? To try to break Amanda and me up. Wow. You really think I have a shot? Hmm. Are you worried? No, never, not at all. I... No? Oh, well, then what are you doing here? Barking. 
You're lucky I don't lift my leg. <laughs> Amanda signed the agreement, Jake. She honors her obligations, as do I. But you're kind of hoping it lasts a little longer than nine months, right? Mm. This way you can work your black Satan magic. Well, what's black Satan magic in the face of pure, true, unshakable love? I mean, that's what you and Amanda share, isn't it? Yes. Oh, well, there you have it. Then you have absolutely nothing to fear. I obviously don't stand a chance of capturing even one small fraction of Amanda's heart. See, the problem is, Dave, you're not a very nice person. And you're going to lose. But you're going to be so busy making everybody's life miserable while you're losing. And the problem is, see, you're convinced you're three steps ahead of everybody else all the time. Or usually. And that's so sad, really, because you just can't help yourself. You can't help yourself. Always around me and Amanda. Now Angie. Angie? Right? Yeah, Angie. You're going to terrorize her and you're going to stress her out, trying to get her to quit. Maybe she'll make you beg for her your job. <laughs> trust back. me. Trust Is that me, what you're trying me. to do? I don't have to do anything for Angie to collapse under the pressure of her new position. I'm completely confident that she will implode entirely by herself. Which is what you're hoping happens to me and Amanda, right? You're gonna prey on her fears and her insecurity, give us enough rope and just sit back and watch what happens. Give me all the rope you want, Dave, because you know what I'm gonna do with it? Mm. I'm gonna hang you with it. Self? It's working. My charm? <laughs> yeah, Amanda is pretty upset, you know, because what she... What she thought was going to be just a nine-month ordeal, she's convinced herself it's probably going to take a lot longer before she actually gets pregnant. Mm -hmm. Maybe a year. Could be more. You know, I've been sensing her concern. Yeah, and you're probably going to take full advantage of it, aren't you? This deal is about Amanda and I both getting what we want. Mm -hmm. Trevor gets a sibling, and Amanda gets to live her life with Jake. Which is the last thing that you want. Well, come on, David. Don't deny it. Right? I mean, the only thing that would make you happier than having another child would be splitting up Jake and Amanda. Now, the truth is that the longer that this takes, well, the harder it is on them and the easier it is on you. Whatever happens, happens. Well, I'm going to make sure that it happens for Amanda. <laughs> you are. <laughs> because I know what you're up to, and I'm not going to let you get away with it. And I'm going to put a time limit on the term so this doesn't drag out for years. You know, that sounds like an excellent idea. Of course, I'll want an addendum with certain items in my favor as well. We can start with more custody time and greater restrictions on Jake, his access with my children. You really are a son of a bitch. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken, darling. 